Hi guys, so in the last video I talked about what makes contemporary art a bit difficult for those not as involved in the art world. This video will be dedicated to my personal recommendations of how to get started on exposing yourself to this material. Of course, not everything that I mention will be practical or interesting for each one of you, but my hope is that you can find one or two things that fit your interest in lifestyle. The best and most enjoyable, of course, is to see the artwork in person. See if you have any museums or galleries around you, or if you can travel to a nearby city. Of course, this isn't practical for everybody, but there's really no substitution for seeing the work in person. If you don't have a museum or gallery nearby you, you can try looking at their websites and seeing their archives, any articles. Starting out, I find it's much easier to find a particular piece that really resonates with you. And try Googling the artist. You can find their website or maybe the gallery that represents their work. If their work is in a museum, you can read about their biography, press releases, and so on. While the majority of images online don't do artworks justice in image quality, there's a few sites that are really dedicated to having super high-res images where you can even zoom in and see all the nitty-gritty details. I'm talking about artsy.net and Google's art project. They're pretty much the runner up to seeing the artworks in person, but you're limited to whatever institutions they've teamed up with, so you're not going to find every single piece of artwork there. What's interesting about Artsy is that they call themselves the Pandora of art. So you're always going to find related pieces of art or artists that you might find interesting if you're on a page of an artist that you really like. This can be a really enjoyable way of expanding your repertoire of artists. There's a ton of blogs and websites that cover contemporary art, but two that I really like scrolling through are Colossal and Contemporary Art Daily. I really recommend Colossal to anyone who's just interested in looking at a ton of really cool stuff. Its creator editor Christopher Jobson does a great job of curating visually stunning images and you'll find a ton of great stuff on it. Contemporary Art Daily is basically a website where people can submit current exhibitions so you can get an idea of what's going on in the art world on a global scale. This is great because not everyone can go to Milan or New York but you're able to get a peek into it. Of course, everything I mentioned so far pretty much all has social media, whether it's Twitter, Tumblr, or Facebook. So if you're someone who's already on Tumblr a lot, you can follow these people or institutions as an easy way to access these articles and keep yourself updated. The last topic I want to touch on is books. I personally really love art books, but I understand that it's not everyone's taste. But the great thing is that they can provide a greater context of which contemporary art falls within, and a much more nuanced explanation of pretty much anything you would ever want to know. Art Since 1900 is the book that I used when I was in school. What's really great about this is that it covers a really wide range of time. Um, the two volumes cover 1900 to 2003. The four authors, Hal Foster, Rosalind Cross, Eveline Bois, and Benjamin Buclo, each provide a different reading on the works. The four authors do a great job of proposing all the different possible readings and how they came to that conclusion. Not all books on art will be textbooks if that isn't your thing. This is a fun one that I recently got called What Are You Looking At? by Will Gompritz, who is a former board director of the Tate Gallery. And um, he provides a really great insight onto the character of the artist and has a really humorous narrative. Another book I have is how to Read Contemporary Art by Michael Wilson. And this one's more of profiles of individual artists rather than a narrative. So this is a great option for people who want to learn about specific artists who are big players in contemporary art. I hope that gives you some ideas of where to start. I'll list all the resources that I mentioned in the about section below. Let me know if you have any websites or books that you really like, because I would love to know. And thanks for watching, bye.